Alles gut. Hi there and welcome uh, on this Friday evening to the first seminar of Revision 2023. We're all happy to be here back in the EVER and also welcome you, um, newcomers or some people who are a little bit longer in the scene. <laughs> I'm not looking at the <laughs> at Dr. T there. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't get the joke. So um, in this seminar, I will um, tell you a little bit about um, what this is about, the demo party is about, about um, where to find what here at Revision. Um, um, also, um, we have some mentors here. Um, three of the four are currently here, and um, so you get to see their faces. If you have any questions, uh, please always come to us. And uh, basically, if, if you have any questions, you can always come to, to everyone, mainly in the hall, and especially as, um, as organizers here. We are happy to help you. So um, let's start with the, from the top, um, let's introduce ourselves. Um, Bot, uh, Reality and uh, um, Blueberry, would you please come to join me here? So people can see your face and then they're not scared anymore. <laughs> okay, let's, let's start with me. Um, TMC, can you, can you give him the microphone please? Here, here. The mentors, please. Here, the mentors. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I'll, I'll start with myself. Um, I'm Lambda Girl. My name is Jan. Um, I'm in the scene since uh, 2002. Um, I got introduced by Delex. He's a senior from, from Darmstadt, or was at, at the time studying in Darmstadt. And um, I'm, an or I'm, more like I'm an organizer. I do network stuff in the, in the demo scene. I'm not good with graphics. Uh, or coding or music, so um, I help out with organizing stuff, and that's also one of the reasons why I'm here. Um, yeah, I'm an organizer since I think 2013, Evoke, um, and since 2016 here at Revision. And um, yeah, one of my additional duties uh, to network stuff is also um, doing newcomer stuff, and um, so I welcome you here. Blueberry, you're next. Uh, yeah, I'm Blueberry. Uh, I'm from Denmark. Um, I started uh, coding uh, Amiga demos back in. Uh, oh, okay. I'll okay. Start, start over. Okay. Yeah. I'm Blueberry. I'm from Denmark. I started coding Amiga demos back in the 90s. Um, since then, I've sort of branched out onto PC and some Commodore 64 and Commodore 16 and stuff. Um, um, well, yeah, so my favorite uh, category uh, is definitely the four kilobyte category because I think it's uh, big enough that you can do something really interesting and at the same time small enough that it's really a challenge to do so. Um, I love making uh, tools for making demos. So I'm one of the authors of uh, Crinkler, which is one of the tools that is the, the, probably the most used tools for making uh, four kilobyte intros on Windows. Uh, and also, I've also made a few um, like software synthesizers for also for making music in four kilobyte intros for PC and Amiga. So happy to be back here. I'm a reality of Reality Portal. Um, I got into the scene because a uh, demo scene called Lynn kept asking me to come to revision. And then eventually I came to revision uh, and then I went to Sundown, which is a UK demo party. And at Sundown I found out that I was the youngest demo scene when I went. Um, so from there, I didn't want that to be the case and I got lucky that I was in a car with an organizer uh, from Electromagnetic Field, which is a hacker camp in the UK, about 2,500 people go. And he said, why don't you run a demo party at EMF? So I did. Um, and that started my journey to organizing at various demo parties. I, I help out at Evoke and 
various other parties now, and um, yeah, that's basically me. Come a little bit overboard because you can see people and people can see you because the camera only reaches to about where the reality was. I can't see shit because I got blinded <laughs> by the beamer. Yeah, same. <laughs> So I'm Bot, also known now as the guy who lost his eyesight to the Beamer. Um, I'm usually a musician, I think, because I make bleeps and loops and love it. Um, also, I do a lot of hockey recently, um, but usually I do all platforms, a bit of coding, like in stuff like Pico 8, which is really good for beginner coding, and also cables, um, which is a tool yeah, mostly functioning without code. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm boring, I do stuff. Just <laughs> ask me. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Um, let's start with a, with a few, qu yeah, you can, you can sit down again if you want. God, I'm still drinking so anstrengend. So, um, the mentors will come, uh, will come to the newcomer table or roam the hall. And um, if you see them and have any questions, hey, you know the faces now. <laughs> they cannot escape. OK, let's start with a few questions to, to the audience here. Um, is this your first demo party? Yes? Oh, wow. Quite a few. I feel like 30 hands. Wow. That's great. Are you enjoying it so far? That's what Cliff will change. <laughs> no, we hope that, that we will have a great time here. We, that's, that's what we're working for, and that's what we, are, we, are, we have missed the last four years. So great to have you here. Um, so why are you here? Um, who, who of you found the scene and wanted to participate? No one. No one wants to participate. <laughs> one. Okay. <laughs> Who was dragged here by friends? <laughs> ah, <laughs> there they come from. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the most common reason. Uh, there, are, there are a few people who, who, who come on their own terms, but uh, it's great. And uh, you will see. Hey, we are a big family here. We we um, we like each other. We know most of us know each other for decades now, and um, yeah. You really get to know people and, and uh, know um, what people can do and uh, have a good, ti good time together. Um, so, on a, scene <laughs> on a scale of uh, 0 to 10, <laughs> how familiar are you with the scene? So, um, who's quite familiar? He's, uh, um, who's here just for fun? <laughs> ah, there are always a few. <laughs> who's seen a few demos? Okay, at least that. And who doesn't know anything about what's happening here? Oh, Good on you. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, you will learn fast, and it's not complicated here. We all, um, we're doing things. Um, let's go to the most controversial part of the demo of, of, of the scene itself. Um, what is your platform of choice? Who's a Windows guy? Or girl, or whatever. Uh, uh, okay, few of you. Linux? Any Linux girl? Okay, nice. Mac OS? Okay. Uh, it's okay. We, we feel for you. Um, Amiga? Amiga! Amiga! Okay. Yes. That's, that's a common, common theme here in, in the scene. There are some things, if you yell them, People will tend to, to answer you yelling them. So Amiga is one of those. Um, don't be scared if people answer you with Atari or something else. It's all part of the game. <laughs> we are not enemies anymore. <laughs> C64. No one? I no. have a question. Yes. Uh, since when change is that uh, Atari thing uh, not? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I, d I, d I haven't seen any bloodshed in the last year. So because we don't have any Atari seniors in here. Yeah, currently, but yeah, you, you know, never know. 
usually the Atari guys will make themselves known when, when I say, say something about the Amiga, but okay. They hide in the shadow. <laughs> Um, a little bit more challenging. Um, who just needs a CPU and, a, and some RAM or a microcontroller? Yes. See, yeah. we we all, we all we. So it's not just the the, the big platforms. Um, there are always people who do weird stuff and great stuff with uh, things where you would think, what the hell is this? Um, last year, I've, I've seen a a, a, a demo um, uh, in teletext. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll yes. <laughs> yeah. So um, it's great. It, 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 this this makes you see the diversity. You never know what's coming, especially in the wild category, um, or something else. Um, speaking of wild, yeah, um, we we have people in the in the scene who do stuff and, and don't need a computer for that. We have seen uh, people doing um, color drops on a projector and filming that. There's also a valid thing. We're doing arts here, um, and this is our medium. If we use a computer for that or anything else, as long as it fits, it fits. <laughs> so, um, as I, as I said, I'm I'm an organizer. I'm 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 not good at, at other stuff. But what about you? Um, so, who's a coder? Who likes to program stuff? Okay, a third of the room. Great graphics. Okay, I, and with graphics, I also mean in, in this sense um, also 3D um, um, sculpturing, etc. So um, it's a little bit wide of a term. <laughs> okay, music. Bot, where's your hand? You also do music. <laughs> Good on you. What? Who wants to be an organizer and help out with with, uh, with parties? Let's look at the, uh, at the faces here and uh, we'll get you. And who's here just for the booze? <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> there are stuff. And there's also other stuff in the, in the scene, like um, giving seminars, etc. cetera. So um, there's, there's many, many things to, to, contri uh, to contribute here. So um, there's lots of stuff to do if you want. Um, one of the most, um, most often asked questions to newcomers is, hey, do you plan to release something also to other visitors of party? Who, who wants to um, release something at, at uh, revision? One, two, three, oh, great, good on you. The scene lives of, uh, from, from releasing um, uh, things and, and bringing them into the, in, into the compost. Um, more on that later, but um, good on you, thanks. Who wants to re uh, release something soon? Please don't join truck. We're still waiting for a demo. <laughs> <laughs> and who's not sure? <laughs> Make something. <laughs> um, just, a, just a small note: everything which is uh, released at demo parties um, gets published. Usually um, at scene.org. I will have a list of, of, of demo party and, and demo scene related websites uh, later. But we have a central file archive for um, where the releases usually will get uploaded by the, by the organizers. Just keep it in mind. Um, if you, yeah, just keep this in mind. So um, what are your expectations for this party? What, what, do you, um, what do you expect from this party? Just raise your hand and then TMC can give the microphone to you. Anyone? What are your expectations? Over there? Just a short tweet, just a short answer is great. Yeah, I hope to talk to people about interesting stuff that people are usually not interested, <laughs> like outside the scene, I guess, and yeah. spend some time coding yeah. and visiting cool stuff and get inspired. Sounds nice. One of one of them and that's one of the the, the most one of the more important uh, parts of, 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 of a demo party is talking with people, social interactions. We mostly interact these days online and type in chats and have, have, have video calls, etc. But meeting someone in, in person and sitting at the, at the bonfire and drinking beer together, that's a whole, whole different level and it's great. Next. Uh, so is it working? Yes. Um, yeah. So Revision has tons and tons of footage online and I've watched through a lot of it. And it's yep. um, 
my first time here, and it's absolutely surreal to be in it, like in real life. Um, so I kind of recognize the whole room, and I recognize the big screen, and yeah. I recognize all the computers, even though I've never seen them before. <laughs> so it's a lot of fun. You're welcome. Yeah, it's a memorable place here. <laughs> okay, um, in general, um, if you have questions, ask or um, remember the questions for later. Uh, the last slide will be, uh, hey, now you can shoot your, your questions you, the, the, that are burning under your, under your fingernails. So um, either in between or at, uh, or, uh, at the finale is fine, whatever, whatever makes sense to you. Um, a very brief history of the scene, I, very much com uh, compacted, and I have to edit, uh, add something. Um, so, um, in around about the 80s, um, the, the, for those who don't know, um, the demo scene came from the, the, the software crack and wear scene. So, um, if you ever played a, an old C64 game which has been cracked, you, you will see this intro in front of it. Hey, we, uh, uh, we group X, Y, Z, we crack this, we have the greatest, and we agreed these, and we get shittings to those. So, um, and, someti uh, and sometimes later they thought, hey, fuck those games, we, the intros are what we want to do. And, they, um, and that's basically the, the, the birth point of the demo scene. We, when the, the demo scene got into legality from, from the illegal, illegal part of, of the copying. So, um, and with that, dropping the game, there was space. And um, they used the space and, and created more and longer intros. Um, you would see some, some, <laughs> some Amiga stuff will be quite long. <laughs> but um, it, that is, this is great. We, we, there's just a, no, a, a, a whole lot more space there. Um, the thing I, have, I, I had to add is, um, now, since 2020 in Finland and uh, 2021 in Poland and Germany, um, the demo scene is even uh, UNESCO recognized national intangible cultural heritage. Oh. So we are on the same page or the same um, step, uh, uh, like here in Germany, for example, the Schützen. It's the same thing. So we are re recognized. It's, it's, uh, it's no longer just a, a, a subculture for nerds, but um, um, it's recognized, which is great. Let's see what the future brings. I'm, I'm, very, I'm very keen on seeing that. Um, so what are we doing here in the demo party, usually? We talked about some, uh, some stuff. Um, we have events like the compost competitions, where in different categories, there will be competition between different entries. Um, a large part of this is the voting. We don't have a jury or, so or something which votes, um, but everyone here votes. And the voting system is, is made in a way that every vote counts. So please vote. Even if you don't like something, then give it a one star or something. Um, the voting is from one to five stars. Um, I think it's five stars, right? Yeah, it's five stars. Um, and um, there's a system behind that that makes sure that every, every vote counts. So vote for the, for, for the entries. Especially if you like them, give them five votes. and. I think we already have special uh, special uh, categories, etc. Now it's, it gets it gets expanded every every now and then, so it's important. Um, on Monday there will be a prize giving for the winners in the categories, and this is something um, that p many people who release something um, are are going for be because it brings prestige. Hey, I won the revision compo. That's something. In the scene, it's uh, it's the pinnacle more or less. <laughs> We will also have live acts like DJs um, um, on the main stage or on the second stage. And seminars like this year um, of a bunch of different topics. So um, have a look at that. And if, you, if something piques your interest, come in, have a look at the seminar, have fun. Ask the, the persons, the, the seminar um, people. They usually like to talk about this topic. That's the reason why they do the seminars. So go to the seminars. Meeting people, we already talked about that. <coughs> Go and talk with people. Um, there's a lot less elitism these days than like back in, uh, back in the old days. Um, if you see someone and, and you feel starstruck, go drink a beer with them or say hello or whatever not. We are not gods, we are not above anyone. Even Defox, if, if, he, if he's roaming the, the hall, 
give him a, a handshake, a hug, whatever not, he likes that, really. We, because um, he has worked his ass off for the last six months, and even longer, to, to, to bring this to us. So um, go to the people, talk to them, we are open, we, we like to meet people, that's why we're here and doing this. Um, we also do sports, <laughs> there's a five kilometer run. Um, I've also participated in that uh, back in 2018. Um, yes, even in w with my not existing um, uh, condition, you can do this, you can survive this. I was last, but it's okay. <laughs> I even drank, um, uh, there's, a, there's a break in between and I drank something which I should not have been drunken, but it's okay, I survived. So we also have sports if you are in that direction. <laughs> Um, for the compost, just to rule some, um, there is um, the, comp the, the main job of the compost team is um, if there's a lot of entries, there's pre selection. So um, your, your um, the release has to uh, meet a certain criteria in order to be presented. If it's not presented, pre selected, uh, you can release it at, at another party, it will not be released. Um, and um, the second. Um, uh, the, the, the second um, uh, job of them is um, to sort the entries. Um, and the rule of thumb is um, the better entries come last in the competition. So um, in the eyes of the, of the, orga of the compo organizers. So um, stick to the end in the compos. The good things come last. Um, there will most likely be real entries. That's completely normal. Um, I've seen things. Uh, and if you are in the scene for some time, you will see things. Um, and in many of, especially of the weird ones, there will be insider jokes. Right, Kevin? Yeah. 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 <laughs> like that. Um, if you're not sure what that means, ask someone around you. Someone will tell you. Um, if not during the combo, then later. But most of the stuff is hilariously funny and um, it has Kevin. a story. Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, so a little bit, what's, what's, uh, what's here on the EDERG? Um, we're here in the, in the seminar area. It's um, down, down um, left. And um, another uh, few other things uh, notable is um, the info desk. You all passed through there. We have some InfoDesk organizers also here. Right next to the InfoDesk is the second stage. There will be DJ sets, etc. <coughs> and usually later at night when we don't want to use the main stage due to people sleeping behind the main stage. Um, the beam team is on the uh, is on this uh, podest in, in, in inside the hall um, <laughs> because they need to look over the people to in order to see what's happening in the front. There's the outside area with a bonfire, with, a, with uh, some tents where you can sit and, and uh, socialize and talk with each other, and some, some um, catering people and food, and also the shower containers and also a little bit of toilet things. And the famous toilet tunnel entrance is right at the info desk, if you haven't found it yet. Okay, um, yeah, we also have a VIP area, uh, which is uh, the balcony area. Up, it's basically up, up there. Um, the most of the uh, of the organizers are sitting there, and it, there's also the uh, network uh, organizer area, which is behind you, behind this curtain. Um, there will be behind the scenes tours, um, and when the time comes for the behind the scenes tours, I will be at the info desk with this wimple here. And um, you, can you can just join the tour. Um, for the times, look at the time schedule, which is in Party Meister. I will show it in a, in a few minutes. One question? Yes. Uh, uh, wait, wait a second for the, for the microphone. So people also. Yeah. Uh, I got one question. Yeah. Networking area, does that mean computer networks or social networks? Computer network. OK. Uh, yes. You. Yes. <laughs> we have people doing computer stuff and uh, network stuff, yes. I'm one of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, also. <laughs> okay, so some general stuff. Um, the import most important uh, things first, um, in case of emergencies, uh, please contact an organizer. We all wear these shirts or a badge like this here. It really doesn't matter whom of you um, you ask. They should all be able to, to, to help you or um, lead you to the info desk. 
the info desk is, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's meant 24 seven and you can go there with almost any question. There's no, no, not asking a question, go there if you have any question or unsure about things, they know things, they are there to help you and not just sell beer. <laughs> um, also emergency services can be reached um, by pu public phone number 112 here in Germany. Um, just in case if you have a medical emergency and need urgent help, you can call that. Please let us and uh, organizers know that something has happened and there's um, an ambulance coming so we can direct them to you. Um, but dial it this number first to, to, get, to get immediate um, medical help there. Um, down parties are relative safe spaces, which means um, I have rarely, no, I've never seen, seen any, 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 anyone punching each other. So it may happen from time to time, but that's um, <laughs> uncommon. Um, but also in the sense of um, there's not much theft going on. That being said, you can leave your stuff at your table, um, but it always makes sense to ask your neighbors, hey, can you have a look at this? I have to, I have to go for, for an, I'll, I'll be gone for, for some minutes. Um, keep it in mind, we're, we're family here. Um, it rarely happens, but it's, um, and I, I've, al I've also seen um, uh, that's, that the scene lost something, like a phone or something, and um, it will show up in, at the info desk. If you lose something, there's a good chance it will end up at the info desk because we're family. We, it can happen to any one of us. Um, as there are children here and people bring children, which is fine. Um, this is not an ideal place for children. Um, the main thing is um, it can get loud very suddenly. So always we're here protection. One time is enough and you have uh, the, the children will have problems the rest of their life. Oh, yeah. Make them wear ear protection and all the time, not just when, when they're roaming around. When they're in the hall, ear protection. Um, stuff happening. Um, <laughs> Stuff that happening is um, in, the, the, in the combo entries, there may be sexuality or other stuff. Um, <gasps> yeah, shocking. Um, your kid should be prepared for this um, or not. It's, uh, it's your responsibility as if you're here as a parent. Um, we, we don't want to censor anything because this is, an, um, this is usually not a place for kids here. Again, we are air protection. Um, mm -hmm. An important point is please do not smoke or vape inside the hall. Um, there is a, a smoke detection system, fire detection system, and um, also the Hallenmeisters are looking at that stuff. Um, please do not do this. You can go outside in the, in the, um, in the uh, outside area, that, that's fine. There's also in the inside the tent, outside you can smoke. It's no problem there, but please do not do it inside the hall. Um, also, um, we in the scene like our stickers. If you don't have any you know, scene stickers, go to the info desk. There are plenty there uh, to get you started. But please do not put anything on the walls, floors, or other surfaces here. Uh, reason being is, um, on the tables, reason being is, um, this is a historic building and it has to be preserved in the state as it was when it was uh, basically dec decommissioned. Um, so, if you place a stick on something, you will destroy something because some stickers you cannot remove uh, without damaging what's, what they are sticking on. So please do not do it. Um, if you want to stick something on something, you can always stick something on your, um, on your devices. Um, or um, we have tech walls um, downside in the toilet tunnel where you can also do signs and, and paint on and whatever not. And they're there to create art if you want to have uh, to do it with a pen. So um, you can you can do that there. Um, and yeah, the real party is outside. So um, go outside, get social, uh, talk to people, socialize, have fun. Um, I know it's hard for some of us, but yeah, you should do it. Um, as I said, next to the the entrance is the info desk. Um, we sell beverages there for reasonable prices. Um, you can get free airplugs there, um, and you should use them. Please use them. Um, it's no shame to use them or even have, have proper ear protection. Um, there's free coffee. There's free tea. Go and have uh, drink. Um, stay hydrated, please.
it's warm in here and uh, you you may it's it's not it's not a good environment we also have uh, t-shirts and some um, smaller IT items if you if you're missing a charger or if you're missing a network cable uh, um, graphics cable or whatever not it may be, uh, you can you can buy it there so we, we try to keep it stocked especially since uh, all the shops around are closed today on a Sunday so yeah um, and if you have any questions any questions please contact an organizer or info desk um, or one of our mentors here and uh, we'll will help you out um, the outside area uh, already talked about um, you go on the ramp, you're outside, there's food for sale um, from, from external vendors there. Um, there's the shell containers, the bonfire, and also um, the, the tent, etc. Sleeping. Um, I guess if you haven't uh, got a sleeping place up until now, I think the main um, sleeping area behind the big screen is, should be quite full-ish. If not, um, you should get a sleeping place now, first come, first serve. Um, you can also sleep under or next to your table or at the side uh, of, of the hall. Um, Don't forget. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 lower <laughs> the last okay. thing is, uh, is, is, um, is very important. Do not block evacuation on emergency ways. Um, there's a new uh, fire chief in town and he does things differently than the previous ones. Also, this hall has a new management and they, they are more strict than before. So that's also the reason why we had to change some stuff in front of the emergencies where we, do, where we had something laying across which is no longer allowed. So please keep them free. Um, organizers will also, also roam the hall and are, and, and are ordered to, to tell you, hey, you need to move stuff. Please do not try to discuss it. We have to do it. There's no discussion there. Um, it's also possible to sleep in the toilet tunnel. I would not recommend it. No. Um, yes, it may be a little bit quieter, except if um, at night at 2 or 3 a.m. Um, some seniors decide to do a beer and schnapps break station down there. And then parties. Our toilet parties. It, um, it may be loud. Um, mm. Also, it's cold down there. But it's possible there are sofas um, and uh, you will see things there. <laughs> yeah, toilets, the toilet tunnel, um, if you haven't found it, um, the entrance is at the info desk. There are tech bots there. Um, and yeah, uh, we prepared some, some interesting things down there, like, uh, um, like some, some um, exhibition items. Also, we put some light strips on the floor and you may see passed out seamers there. <laughs> Please don't paint on them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, showers are, are on the containers in the outside area. Um, they're not open 24 7. Um, please look at uh, us at the info desk. I, th uh, I think there should be an info, um, uh, information about this um, at the info desk or at the, at the containers themselves. Um, shopping. There are some stores here around the place. Um, there's a media market which uh, sells uh, all kinds of technical stuff. Um, there's a, um, there's a uh, Globus, which is a do-it-yourself market. So if you need some clothing or some tools, whatever not, or wires, etc., cetera, you, you can find it there. And there's, um, there used to be a, 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 um, a Rewe, but it's no longer there. It's a mixed market now. It's um, East Euro Eastern European foods. But um, if you need food, you can also go there and buy. Um, or if you need a seat and sofa or whatever not, there's other stuff here. Um, and if, uh, if, you need, uh, if you need other stuff, you can always ask around if someone does, does, a, does a shopping drive or something. Uh, it may happen. So um, we, are, we are not uh, out of the countryside. We are in, in Saarbrücken after all. OK, let's have a look at PartyMeister, which is our, our central party system here. Um, this is when you, when you start a PartyMeister, you're, um, <coughs> you're getting uh, this page, basically. Um, there's a few things you can, you can do here. Um, uh, for example, uh, one of the most uh, used functions is the timetable. You would see um, what's happening here, what's planned. Um, you see currently the, the seminar is running, obviously. Um, there are deadlines coming up at 1800 um, for, for um, some um, compost here already. And then uh, we have at 1900 the opening ceremony. Um, so. Have a look at the timetable, um, pick what you like, um, and, and visit them. 
So what you also can do here is um, go to uh, here, um, is upload an entry. So you just select which competition and then you fill out the field. So let's let's just uh, let's just uh, select one like a, like a PC 4K intro here. Um, and you, you'll see there's, uh, there's a whole bunch of field, fields which need to be filled, and then you can, um, you can uh, um, upload your, your stuff. Um, as it's often, often asked is um, the files, there's in, most com in most things there's something like a screenshot or a file um, a section here. Screenshot is what you will see as a preview when you go and vote for compost which have already passed. You get a little, a little um, thumbnail, and that's what, you, what you're supposed to upload here. And the file would be a zip file or something um, that will be uploaded to scene.org or to other, um, um, or to other locations um, to spread your release. Um, also, you can, you can see other information in, in PartyMeister like um, who's here or, um, or other stuff. So um, that's short int introduction to PartyMeister here. If you have any questions, um, Ask a scene around you, or ask uh, one of one of us. Um, we are happy to help you here. And if you find any bugs, there will be bugs. There are bugs. We know about them. Um, Pope D Fox, he likes bugs, <laughs> especially fixing bugs during the party. This is his um, his thing. Okay. Um, some more information. Um, just a note: the um, uh, I've uploaded this um, this whole presentation um, already to our website. There's a, there will be a QR code where you can download this. So um, I put the the the, the websites here. Um, you can connect to Cenas here um, in IRC. Um, we're in IRCnet. I should add that here. Um, note to self. Um, in the channels new seniors, and um, most of us here are on revision or in demo.ger for the German part uh, speaking people. I'm not sure about an English uh, speaking channel. I think it's demo.en or just demo. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm a German guy. <laughs> um, there's also the demos in Discord. Um, you can, uh, you should join if you have Discord. Um, this, um, uh, especially for the the stuff which gets streamed from us, um, the discussions and channels are there on this Discord, like in the previous years. And there's and then there's our um, <coughs> demo scene websites. Um, there's no specific order in this. Um, I'll just name them. Puet.net is. Um, um, a BBS system, basically, where um, releases get get published, uh, where people can can discuss um, releases um, and do other, um, and where parties are announced, etc. So, um, have a look at Puet. Um, it can get a little bit out of hand from time to time, but the moderators do do quite a good job there and and uh, keep things under control. Um, then we have DemoZoo. DemoZoo is um, our central archive, basically. Um, it's, um, it's, uh, it has been created with the, um, um, with the intention to um, properly archive all demo scene releases, um, demo sceners, um, groups, etc., and provide history and provide um, information to the scientific community because um, nowadays, there are really people um, in universities um, teaching demo scene and researching demo scene. So, demo zoo is, is one of our connections to to, the, to this scientific community, and um, sometimes it's it's nice what they find out. Um, we also have um, at least one active demo scene at Dipswitch, with, who is working for the university um, in uh, in Zurich. Um, and he's a professor, or at least he's, he's uh, teaching people there, and he's an, an active demo singer. He's a, he's a music uh, guy. Um, so, yeah, we have a connection to, to them. Scene.org is um, nowadays mostly a, a, our file archive. File.scene.org is where, uh, from most of the parties, the releases will get uploaded to. Um, so, if you want to spread your release, um, or if you want to look at, at, at the releases, uh, for example, from, from Puet, et cetera, um, most of them will link to, to scene.org. This is where we store our files. Then there's Slangpunk. Um, Slangpunk is, 
is like Facebook, but not like Facebook. So um, Snackbook is, 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 is a picture platform. Um, if you want to know um, how a, a scene looks like, go on Slangpunk's look, uh, type up his, his handle, um, and you'll find pictures of them. Some may be uh, embarrassing, <laughs> especially if they are older. <laughs> but um, if you don't know how, how a scene looks like, um, uh, there's a good chance that, uh, that his, uh, his face uh, will show up somewhere on Slangpunk. Yes, there's a question. Can you put the... Uh, Give me the microphone. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. I, I looked for it, but I didn't find. What does slang punk mean? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what, what slang punk means. Um, That's what poet means. Yeah, poet is, is quite simple. Poet is um, French for poet. Yeah. It's, it's blowing a horn a or a trumpet or whatever. So. The, 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 the logo for Puet is, is a trumpet. You would see it if you... <laughs> Puet has not one logo, it has thousands of logos. Each time you reload the page, you have a different logo at the top, which is great. If you want to contribute, they always like to have new logos. <laughs> then there's scenecity.tv. Um, when we got banned from Twitch um, uh, a <laughs> few years back, due to the incident, um, some some seniors um, around um, uh, around Scamp decided, hey, um, we can provide the infrastructure to have our own streaming service. So, since City is, is like Twitch, but without any censorship. So, um, and uh, they, and uh, since City has a worldwide um, um, distributed streaming infrastructure, so um, you can watch to Sin City um, uh, a stream from wherever. If you want to scam. If you want to talk to Scamp, um, you, you, can, you can find him. <laughs> what are you laughing? <laughs> if you if you want to talk to Scamp, um, you'll, you'll find him in front of the FOH. There's a big uh, Scene City sign, and he's sitting right there. Um, and you can talk to him um, if you want. Um, there are other uh, there are other sites which are demo scene related ish. Serial is not really related, but um, in the last years, last six seven years. We had an influx of people who do um, shader coding. So this is um, coding inside uh, in with, with modern graphics cards. Um, and people from, from this community came into the scene and, uh, and did size coding. So 4Ks and 64Ks. You will see many people who are currently doing 4K intros came from, from, sh from the Shader Town community, which is okay, toy community, which is great. And it's a, it's a, good, um, a good, good way to get into programming, et cetera. Then we have a CSDB for C64 releases. We have a Castro for Amiga releases. Um, for, for Castro, which is a little bit difficult to find, I've, I put the, um, the URL in there. So as I said, um, this, this whole presentation will be uploaded or is already uploaded to our, um, to our website. Um, and you can download it here. And that would more or less be the end of this seminar. If you have any questions, now would be the time to ask. <laughs> so, questions? Over there. I would, yeah, it's, it's a question about the scene in general. Yeah. Um, I had some difficulty finding source code for most of the demos. Yeah. Is it a usual thing to release yeah. source code with that, uh, or no. is it hidden somewhere? So um, for most of the demos um, and releases, you will not find the, the source code freely available. Um, what you can do is, um, especially when you are at the party place like here, um, speak to the people who did the release. They are very, very happy to talk about their release. They will show you everything, because now that there's, it's in the open, it's not a secret anymore, and they want to teach people. And by that, you, you, the, the bar gets, ri gets uh, risen every, uh, higher and higher every year, because so much knowledge is in, is in the community. They will show you, and they may even give you the, the source code, but it's not a usual thing to, to release a source code. Um, scene c uh, demo sceners usually don't make so much, um, don't think so much about, about licensing, etc. And that's something they don't want to, they want to code. They want to make a release. They don't want to think about all the legal stuff. 
If you're interested in legal stuff, Netford does, uh, does a seminar about that, usually. Uh, I've not checked if he's doing this year, but um, most of, most of um, the, the, the demo seniors, they just want to code, they want to release stuff. Um, they ask them, um, and if you're lucky, they will hand you over the code or the relevant parts of the code, at least. If you, if you like a, a special effect and say, hey, I want to develop this further, I have an idea, etc. Go to them, speak to, speak to them, they, we're all happy, they, especially when they released something and the, 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 the crowd cheered. Hey, that's the greatest thing. So, speak with the people. Any other questions? No questions? No? Okay, yeah, just ask. Uh, like for a certain category, such as let's say streaming music that, it n that is not tracked, like just music in general, right? Yeah. Like, can like any musician just come in and do whatever music they want? Like, does it need to be in any way connected to the demo scene in order to be submitted? Um, you don't need to be connected to the demo scene. In, in principle, uh, every musician can um, uh, release something here. And the tricky part is if you're part of GEMA or um, uh, any other legal entity um, where you have a contract which, um, uh, under which everything you release as music um, has to be licensed. So um, they used to, we used to, used to have a, an exclusion uh, term in this. I'm not sure about what's, what's the current status of that is, but if you're a, m a member of, of GEMA, CM Stemra, whatever not, um, please talk to the, the music combo organizers before releasing your stuff because um, it may be a disqualification. So, um, but in general, we are open. We like to have releases, especially from people who know what they're doing. Um, but there are certain legal issues there um, which we have to think about. Anyone else? I'm not a legal expert, by the way, so <laughs> that's what, what I heard. If you don't vote for an comp for a Entry. What happens with the points? Is it zero if points if or? If if we, if we what? If I don't vote for an entry. Yeah. If you don't for vote for an entry and, and anyone uh, and no one votes for the entry, it gets zero points. It will be the last in the in the competition. So, it's not a, it's not a big deal. If you don't like something, vote zero points. Or if you don't vote at all. Yeah, the, if, if you don't vote at all, the, the, the points are lost, basically. So spend them or don't spend them. It's, it's up to you, um, but it's always a good idea to, to, to think about uh, what would be a, especially if, if, you're, if you're long in the scene and you know what can be done in, in, in a competition, you know what the, what the, what the medium uh, is there. And if you see, see something that's not great, but it's not shit either, give, give it three points. That's a rule of thumb, so if you, if you want to be nice, give it three points, and at least it, it, someone did something. Thank you very much for, for sharing. That's the thing. Any other questions? Ah, okay, yeah, <laughs> good point, thank you. I missed something here. Um, there's, an, there's an app for, um, for um, Android and for iOS phones. I should have included <laughs> an, an another QR code in here, but you can also, I think you can also find it on the web page. Um, you can also use that to, to, to vote in the competitions. Um, if you're the first time here or um, at any party which uses PartyMeister, there's a, a um, live voting function, which means um, during the competition, you can vote for the entry which is currently running and also for the entries before that. Um, I think the, uh, the usual thing is we, we use this feature and uh, during the compos, um, if you go to the live voting page, you can vote for, the, for this compo and uh, immediately give, give feedback and uh, have it out of you here. The other, the other possibility is you write it down somewhere and then vote afterwards, but um, live voting is a nice feature and you should use it. This is not limited to the, to the apps. Um, you can also do it on, on PartyMeister itself but um, yeah, we created the apps um, for that, for, for ease of use. There's some information in there and um, have a look at it. Any other questions or remarks or whatever? If not, then thank you very much for coming. Um,
I would recommend uh, have a look at the opening ceremony, uh, which is always nice, and especially at the Meteorics later this evening. Um, in the Meteorics, we will um, show um, and um, uh, um, we had a look at the best um, releases from last year in different categories, and, they, uh, and the winners of these meta competition will be, um, will be, will be um, given a prize today. So have a look at that. Thank you very much for coming. And as, as said, if you have any questions, come to, uh, to us, to, to, our, to us mentors, come to anyone in the, in the Blue Shirt, any, um, any organizer. We're here uh, to, for you to have a great experience. And Thank you very much for coming. Thank you. We very much like that you that you do. Thank you.